We're heading off to uh, southern Sydney to work with Trish and her dog, Charlie. I've got a 17-month-old Border Collie. He is absolutely insane. He is causing a lot of disruption in the fact that anyone who comes near him, he wants to jump on and that includes small children, which can be a problem when I'm walking him. You mentioned before he jumps up. What do you normally do when he jumps up? I'll turn to the side and I'll put my sort of hip in the way of him to jump at. So everything you've told me so far, it kind of sounds a lot like everything is happening on his terms and he's used to that. Now at this point, this is just a theory. Yeah. I'm not really gonna know the truth <laughs> until I get to meet him. So I'll go and introduce myself to Charlie and we'll take it from there. So Charlie's a smart little guy, okay, and he's what we call a, a manipulator. Uh, would you agree with that? Yes, Do you find he's definitely. manipulating? Okay. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because he's not a dominant dog. All the the body language and, and his characteristics about what he does is submissive. But because he's got what we call learnt control, he's doing dominant behaviours. So part of my job is to bring him back to what natural would be. Yep. Between Charlie and I, I can't get Charlie to jump up on me. And I want to show you how that happened. Yep. So before you were saying you turn your body to the side, mm -hmm. which actually turns your body away. It looks like, as far as body language goes, that I'm backing off to you. Yep. But if I step forward and go towards you, it's very clear that I'm more likely to be saying back off. Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to get you to do, I'm going to get you to stimulate the dog by patting your legs. Remember, this is not an invitation because it doesn't actually say anything to a dog. In dog language, jump up on me. So I'm going to get you to pat your legs. Now, once you've done that, I want you to move forward, just smooth and slow, so directly straight at the dog. Yep. But as you're doing that, I want your hand to be behind your leg where he can't see. So his head's here, right? And don't try and get him to get down straight away. It's not about that. Yep. It's about getting the touch in as you move forward real quick. Like that. So I go boom, stop, wait, relax for a second, and then try and get the jump up again. Okay. Okay. Okay, keep keep one hand down, ready for him. But that was way too slow. Try one more time. Not so much of a bump with the leg. So it's just moving your body forward and getting that touch in. Yep. And I'm gonna Head off, leave that with you, give some time separate, come back out when he's got all full of beans again, yep. and then apply it, we'll see what happens. Okay. So I've left Trish and Charlie to sort out their jumping up issues, um, and I've given Trish the instruction of what she needs to do. So I'm just gonna watch her technique and everything here, uh, just to make sure everything's right. I can see that the dog's not even jumping up anymore. This is good. So uh, the instruction I've given her, uh, she's understood how to apply it, and the dog's obviously understanding and now even with encouragement she can't get the dog to jump up anymore. This is great. So for more information go to dogbehaviorspecialist.com.au, like us on Facebook and don't forget to subscribe. And a couple of things typically happen. A lot of people use the hose so if I pat one dog I want the other dog to understand that I control this space and they approached you and your dog started lunging and barking at them. So you want to bring a dog into a nice, closed, safe environment like this. 